All right, it's turkey time again. So how are we gonna cook our turkey this year? You gotta check this out. We've got an anti-gravity machine this year and it'll guarantee to turn out your holiday turkey moist and tender. You gotta check this one out. Can you smell that, Martha? It smells good. Gonna smoke me a fat and brisket. I got my barbecue shoes on. Welcome to barbecuepitboys.com. Today we're cooking up a spit turkey at the pit. And it's real easy to do. Or you can call it a rotisserie turkey. Either or. All right. Here we've got a fresh turkey. It's been rinsed, washed, completely dried out inside and out. It runs about 13 pounds more or less. And this one came with a nylon truss already applied. Perfect. We'll use it. If you insist, just remove it and put on some string. But it's nylon and perfectly safe. All right. So let's uh, show you how we're going to prep this. And uh, first thing we're going to do is take some good quality oil. Right? And we're going to uh, bathe the bird in it. We're going to give her a nice massage. She deserves it all over, right? Now this will uh, produce the texture we want in the final bird. And it'll also um, hold on to the spices and rubs that we'll apply to the skin here in a minute. So we'll give her a good oil bath. And now we're gonna take our favorite seasoning. The SPG kind of works with this. And we're going to add it to some of the oil. Woo! Talk about a cocktail. And then we're going to uh, put it inside the cavity. Simple enough. We want to get some flavoring in there, of course. Now, here's the thing about using a rotisserie. It's essentially an anti-gravity machine kind of like a Star Trek thing, right? And uh, as you know, right, gravity, your moisture always heads downward and also toward the flame. And this is why these turkeys or big birds or chickens or whatever you get will dry out. The heat is pulling the moisture out of the bird. But when you're using these uh, anti-gravity machines, right, the rotisserie, it's constantly spinning in a 360. The moisture has nowhere to go but stay where it is. That's why when you buy one of those uh, pre-cooked chickens at your local grocery store and they come off a rotisserie, they're real, real moist and tender. It's a perfect way to do a bird. And with the rotisserie here, we're going to do it with our turkey. So we've applied our SPG all over it, right? And now we're going to take our trusty sword and we're going to mount the bird. Now, if you've never had a spit turkey before or a rotisserie turkey, you've got to check it out. All those problems with that dried turkey every Thanksgiving or the holiday, we're gone. All right. So, we'll insert the uh, spit into the bird. And it's an easy process. You got your prongs on there. We'll drive it into the bird. This will support it as it spins, just like that. Oh, oh I told you it's going to be easy. But uh, you take your you're other essentially going to crater this in. And you grab your bird with the prongs from the other side. Now, it depends what kind of prongs you're using. They're all different, different sizes. You get a good bite with it and then uh, tighten it up and it's gonna stay put. Simple, especially in the 360 rotation. All right. Oh, baby, she's looking good already. Simple. Now, since we've already used the nylon truss for the legs and tying the legs, we only need really one string or two to keep the wings together. We don't want them flopping around. We want them kind of close to the bird, and this way they'll cook evenly. And some of the best eaten of these birds, right, are the wings. All right, so just take some uh, uh, butcher's string like that, 
tie it on any way you can. We're taking the time to show you just because if you've never done this before, you want to check it out. Huh? <laughs> so, give it a good tie. Perfect. We're in. Oh, man. I'll tell you what. There's nothing like a spit turkey over the hot coals, right? The taste and flavor, you don't need much. Get that little smoky flavor in there and taste. It'll put your uh, mama's turkey to shame, right? It comes out of her oven. Make one of these for her on the side, right? You can serve it with her bird. Although this bird is going to go a lot faster, trust me. All right, so we're going to mount it into the motor. Just like that. Got your power turned on. And we don't need this, so we'll trim it just a little bit. All right, put the cover on. Now, this 13-pound bird at 325 degrees Fahrenheit could take three hours to do, more or less. But always use your instant read thermometer to get it right. And, of course, we're looking for an internal temperature of this bird at about 160 degrees, according to the FDA. And then, of course, you let it rest and wrap it, and that'll add another 10 degrees. So you'll be serving at about 170. Now, we're about uh, gee, maybe a third of the way into this, more or less. And now we're just going to hit it with some moisture. Man, it looks good, and you ought to smell it. It smells real good. All right, so bathe it with your uh, favorite uh, liquid. We're just going to use some beer. And we're going to do a trick here, right? We're going to wrap it in aluminum foil. And this will help also tenderize this bird. We want to cook it slow, evenly. Perfect. And we're going to do that for no more than an hour. All right. This bird is getting near done. So we're going to um, we're going to pull off the foil and we're going to finish the cook. Just like that. Oh. We're going to be eating good tonight, Martha. And uh, going to hit it with a little more beer and liquid, All right? Just because we can. You can do what you want. That's pitmaster privilege. But since we're holding the cerveza, why not? Just hit it. Put the cover on. And again, we want about 160 degrees Fahrenheit internal temperature. And that'll be around the thigh and the leg. All right. In the miracle of time, this anti-gravity turkey is done just take a look at that. There's only one more step. We're going to take this turkey off the grill. But she's ready. Simple. And we're going to uh, wrap it again in aluminum foil. We want it to rest. We got our neighbor... Uh, cutting trees over there getting very anxious they're hoping for an invite so we'll pull out the uh, the tongs simple you can tell it's moist and tender this turkey will be the best turkey you ever had around the Thanksgiving table right or just for a Sunday meal just take a look at that <laughs> Can you smell that? It smells good. So we're going to go ahead and wrap it now. And, um, and this is part of the process of getting these birds tender. And, uh, and while it's waiting, yeah, maybe a half hour or so, more or less, you can even go longer. You don't need to serve turkey piping hot. It'll raise another 10 degrees. And we're after our goal of about 170 degrees Fahrenheit. All right. In the miracle of time again, we jump forward. 
You don't have to use your fast forward uh, button there in front of you. We did it for you. We're going to pull this bird out of the foil. And we're going to admire it. We're going to cut off that uh, butcher string. Oh, man. Are you kidding me? Remove that nylon truss. And we're going to cut it down. There's nothing fancy about this, unless you insist on it, unless you're a surgeon or something. But you basically use your hands when you're carving a turkey, and a lot of you knew it. That helps you, uh, that helps you find the connective bone, pull it away, and then you can take your trusty knife and slice. See, just like that. See how beautiful that is? Man, are you kidding me? Now, to remove the breast meat, of course, you just go along the breastbone, cut away. Man, take a look at that. There's not much more to say about this now, is there? Look at that. Guaranteed, moist and tender. And it'll certainly be better than that old school turkey. I mean, that's just our opinion, and some of you know what I say. That's why a lot of people do their turkeys on the grills, the rotisseries. They deep fry. Anything but the traditional old oven that kind of uh, dries it out, right? So, that's basically it. No fuss, no muss. And, of course, because I have to, and I do apologize for eating in front of you, but we call this Pitmaster Privilege. Oh, good. Oh. Moist, fall off the bone. It's got that wonderful wood fire taste to it. You just can't do any better. And of course, um, what's a turkey without some of the fixing? So, uh, uh, up that hill and get in the uh, get in the kitchen so we're going to serve up this turkey with some roasted potatoes and onions stuffing some corn some little cranberry you do it the way you want this is the way we do it with a little bit of gravy so for the recipe head on over to our website uh, give us a shout out subscribe to us follow us. We appreciate your support.